Stand fast. You got to hold the teachings. You can't let it come in one ear and the next day it going out the other ear. You got to hold on to this thing. Amen. You, know I mean? you got to hold on to it. You got to fight the devil for it. When the devil comes and try to trick you and to tell you it's not working, you got to hold on to it. Anytime you make up your mind you're going to serve God and the word of God comes to you, the devil going to try to snatch it away. That's why David said, I hear the word in my heart and I might not sin against you. We got to hide this word deep inside of us because you will be tested according to your faith. This thing is going to come to shake you Amen. and to find out where you are in Christ Jesus. Amen. He's expected to be coming and trying to give us a hard time. But every time he tries to give us a hard time, God intervenes. Amen. And he makes that rough edge that they come bringing to us. You can't smooth it out a little bit. They don't know what they're doing, but God does. Yeah. You, 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 you can't fight against this. If God be for you, yeah. who can be against you? Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Praise be to God. Yeah. Sometimes they come like a flood. And you wonder, you've done all you can, and you're struggling all you know how. And this setback, now they're going to throw another regulation against you. But don't you know one thing is for certain? The Bible says he tore down kingdoms for their sake. Did y'all hear me? Amen. He'll snatch the president out of here if they get too close to his kingdom. Amen. If they bother that precious church too close, right. well, you'll do something about it. So I'm saying uh, to those in uh, governmental high places, you got to be careful. I know you don't like true light because we carry out placards and we speak things that y'all don't quite understand. We speak against sodomy, That's right, lesbian behavior, yeah. hip hop and rap. We speak against all that devil. Man. Amen. How we, and we're going to continue to do so. Amen. So you might as well adjust. Yeah. Amen. Right. 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 Might as well accept it. Yeah. Oh, there's really, you can do nothing about it. Yeah. If this thing be of God, Pray, you, leave it alone. Amen. Who can come against it? Nobody. Who can fight against it? Hallelujah. Oh, now let me get to Revelation, y'all. Praise God. I don't got feel a little strong here. Amen. Hey, the world will do something to you. Glory, hmm. hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's good to be saved. Amen. Amen. Revelation 17, chapter, deep water. Uh, let's pick up verse 1. Now the kings of the earth means world leaders and the various dispensations of time. Uh huh. And the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sitting upon a scarlet covered beast, full of names of plants, the eve and the seven heads of his horns. Now again, I'm I'm sharing with you. Influence comes from the Babylonian cult of religion. Yeah. The Bible calls her uh, or refers to this woman as a harlot, a prostitute, something that has no character, something that's vile of its affection. Now it says the woman was raised how? In purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones. Now hold your place right there and get me First Timothy two and nine. Amen. This Babylonian woman, how was she dressed? Read. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest apparel. With shame faces and the Again, shame faces means without makeup. Not with braided hair, or gold, or pearls, or coffee and rain. Not with jewelry. Now again, back to Revelation 17, verse 4. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. Anytime you see a woman decorated with jewelry and her face painted, I don't care what church you go to, the woman's a holly. And, and she got the tradition and customs not from the apostles, not from the prophets, 
but from the Babylonian influence, the Babylonian cult religion. All right, read. Now this woman is not a literal woman. This woman represents a, a movement. Amen. That's right, bitch. Political? Yes. <laughs> Through an influence. Yes. Based on a religion which is Babylonian. Yes, yes. Now once we understand this. Samaritans represented or introduced what we call the Babylonian cult of religion. The Bible calls her Ashtaroth in the first book of Kings. Now this religion again introduced the harlot type of characteristics where the woman paints her face, paints her fingernails, and uh, 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 puts on the makeup, dyes her hair, and all of this comes from the Babylonian influence. Babylon came into being by way of the into Christianity by way of the Roman Catholic Church. Yes. And we're going to get to that. But the point I'm trying to express to you, this religious movement is not a literal woman, but it's described as a woman who has no uh, moral standards. As you recall in uh, Proverbs 7, verse 10, I believe. Yes. And the and the young man met a woman who was dressed in the attire of a harlot. Yes. So again, to find out exactly what the scripture is trying to say, you got to first understand what does it mean attire of a harlot. It means how a prostitute dresses. So again, Amen. I say a prostitute just dresses differently than a saved woman. That's obvious. So uh, we refer to again Revelation 17 chapter verse 4, and you see how this prostitute dressed. Now pick up again in verse 5. Now again, I share with you, mother of husband, originator of uh, wickedness or, or, or sinful behaviors. Verse 6. Now the apostle it, it admires the power yeah. of this religious movement. Verse 7. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carry it. Now, here, 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 here's where we're going into some important teaching here. Now, the angel reveals to uh, the apostle, Why are you so uh, obsessed by what I just told you about this mystery of Babylon? And he goes on to say, I will tell thee the mystery of this woman. Now let's pick up verse 9. And here is the mind which has the wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains of which the woman sits. Now again, we refer to the seven mountains as the city that is surrounded by seven hills which represent the city of Rome. Now we're going to connect this with verse 18. Amen. And the woman which thou saw it. The great city, again, is the headquarters city, which is Rome, which represents the Roman influence or the Roman Empire that in that dispensation of time controlled the known world. Now, you have to understand Constantine was a Roman emperor. Amen. Constantine had the political power. That's right. Of Rome. Teach. Teach. Headquarters. Now, when Constantine was converted, Rome now becomes a religious factor. The Catholic religion yes. is connected directly to Constantine through the Nicene Council 325. Amen. Is that right? Yes. All right, now, when Constantine took control over Christianity in Nicene 325, through his political power, he crushed the Apostolic Church. Yes. He put all the bishops in prison who would not submit to his authority. The last bishop, I believe, that resisted him was Bishop 